video. All right, everybody raise your right hand. Aye. 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 Do you swear? Do you swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. Of the state of Missouri. Of the state of Missouri. And the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the United States of America. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Both foreign and domestic. Both foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will obey the lawful orders. That I will obey the lawful orders of those appointed over me. Of those, of those appointed over, over me. For conscience sake. For conscience sake. So help me God. So, so help me God. God. You guys are in the militia. Can I take a quick picture before you move out, Doc? Jason Delashment. Delashment. Is that right? Delashment. Yes, sir. Daniel Van Kutren. Mike Hamilton Sr. As an outstanding member of Headquarters Company 3rd Battalion, 2nd Brigade, <coughs> excuse me, Jason DeLashmit, DeLashmit is hereby promoted to the rank of Corporal E4 this first day of May 2014 and is hereby due the respect and privileges of such rank. Sergeant Major is not here to assist me with this. So. things up I'm only going to put one of these on you guys like that I'll give you your paperwork here, but you guys are okay. now is during this kind of, of a ceremony is when you would salute the officer promoting you Mike Herr as an outstanding member of headquarters company 3rd battalion 2nd brigade Michael Herr is hereby promoted to the rank of Corporal E4 this first day of May 2014 and is hereby due the respect and privileges of such rank. Be standing at attention. As an outstanding member of Headquarters Company, 3rd Battalion, 2nd Brigade, Daniel Van Kutren is hereby promoted to the rank of Staff Sergeant E6. <coughs> this first day of May 2014 and is hereby due the respect and privileges of such rank.
an outstanding member of Headquarters Company, 3rd Battalion, 2nd Brigade, Michael Hamilton Sr. is hereby promoted to the rank of 2nd Lieutenant this first day of May 2014 and is hereby due the respect and privileges of such rank. to return to your post. Uh, first of all, we'll go over identifying the different types we have around here. The uh, Probably the main one you got around here would be the uh, timber rattler. And... Uh, <coughs> Timber rattler uh, lives throughout eastern North America. Uh, may or may not have that stripe on the side of the head. And uh, they do come in uh, that color. And they also can be completely black. And they can also come be <laughs> brown in between. There's a lot of variation in it. And it uh, gets to be a fairly large snake. And uh, you're you're gonna eat that, right? I have. I get tired of eating these things for everybody, though. <laughs> <laughs> he walks down the street and everybody asks him to eat crickets. So, he doesn't want to eat it. so we're not paying you enough to eat. It. Okay, I'll eat it for you. You don't have to. Uh, Too late. You picked the legs off of him. Now this one. Uh, this is more of a Katie. You kill it. You eat it. You kill it. You eat it. You kill it. You eat it. No. Yeah. Uh, now this is. Uh, I'm just going to write, I'm not eating. Uh, I don't eat crickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're probably better if you cook them. Uh, Fry them off. Roast them. Crickets eat a different diet, you know, and I never... They're okay. biblically clean. It's yeah, I guess so, but, but grasshoppers I will eat. Join, and I think it'd be better just to swallow it instead of chewing that. Join your legs for hopping. They yeah, have a... Like a why? Kind of a slight taste of almond, I think. Oh, oh that's really and, interesting. And, and uh, you scratch up that note, I'm not eating. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I think I would you. Other bugs, uh, while we're on it, I should mention, Rub. is uh, uh, ant larvae and ant pupa. You can eat them if you um, take off the, uh, you know, open up a rock or a hollow log, you find a bunch of ant larvae in there. I just lick my, lick my finger, and a little scoop white up a bunch egg. And so, and what is white eggs and stuff? Eggs, larvae, and pupa. What is the advantage of eating a grasshopper? Or Lots of protein. More protein, protein. ounce per ounce than steak. And uh, and then also termites. You can do the same thing. The adult termites. Just lick your finger. And yeah, really. Instead of paying us eight hundred dollars a year for that. And business. all that I think kind of have the same taste, slight taste of almond. Not a strong flavor. Almond in the morning. And uh, and then uh, I've never eaten grubs before, I but have. I've been tempted a lot because they look like there's just so much meat there. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad uh, told and, me. And, and a lot of people do eat them. In uh, survival school in the Marine Corps, they they, yeah. they they grabbed a big old grub worm, yeah. and he said they said they're high in protein because of the fat in it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he got some big ones, and he made me eat one. <laughs> All right. Thanks, like Dad. <laughs> it was tasted fatty. <laughs> you know, like a, it's like eating no. like a raw, a lean, a fat off of a steak or something uh, without the delicious tasting of the steak. <laughs> yeah. But he said, but you got more protein from that one grub than a lot of other foods you would eat. You know, I said, I don't care. It tastes like shit. <laughs> what about maggots? So it's easy to stick around with you. And the advantage of a hammock is. Uh, when it's time to leave, I can unclip, unclip, throw this on my back and throw it in the car, and I'm going and out of here. 
and when I get home, I don't have to do anything other than maybe fold it up. You guys have to dry out your tents, set them up again, take them in the car wet. Is that just an army <laughs> poncho or is that a...